My name is Lenny Marcus, and I'm the co-director of the National Preparedness and Leadership Initiative, a joint program of the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and the Harvard Kennedy School of Government Center for Public Leadership. Shortly after 9-11, the federal government came to Harvard University and asked us to invest our intellectual resources, our research, our teaching, our training into the whole question of leadership in the post 9-11 era. David Gergen, who's the director of the Center for Public Leadership at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, and I both saw this as a question to which we could not say no. The country was certainly perplexed about the whole question of leadership. And we needed to figure out ways of coming together so that we could address new threats and new scenarios that we had never before experienced as a country. And we had to be prepared for new threats and new eventualities that could, event, could, that could eventually come our way. So um, back in 2003, we established the National Preparedness Leadership Initiative. And we made a commitment at the time that we would not simply be sitting in Cambridge studying leadership, that we would embed with leaders, be with leaders in times of crisis. We would collect the lessons learned, things that went well, things that could have gone better. And out of that, we would create a curriculum that could be used as a theme to build better connectivity of effort among leaders across the government, out to the private sector, to humanitarian organizations. That was the mission that the federal government gave us back right after 9-11. And that's the mission to which we're very committed to this day. So here we are, 2020, and we're facing COVID-19. This is a leadership challenge, a series of leadership challenges that are truly novel, that are new, that we haven't experienced, and that we were somewhat prepared for, but surely we could have been far better prepared. What we at the National Preparedness Leadership Initiative are doing now is once again, studying leaders very close on, embedding with them, trying to understand the problems that they're facing, walking with them as they're developing solutions. And with that, collecting the leadership lessons that we can share with you through this series of videos and that we will continue to develop as we continue this commitment of leadership enhancement by the NPLI. What you're going to see in this series of videos is four of our faculty members presenting on what they're experiencing now and how they're applying these leadership lessons to the COVID-19 response. And they include Eric McNulty, the Associate Director of the NPLI. Um, um, Peter Neffinger, former um, Administrator of TSA, Admiral, Vice Command, Commandant of the US Coast Guard, and now an NPLI faculty member. Rich Serino, former chief of Boston Emergency Medical Services, deputy administrator of FEMA during the Obama administration. And now again, uh, we're proud to have him on the faculty of the NPLI. And Joe Henderson, who many years ago was the founding director of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Office for Terrorism Preparedness and Emergency Response. Together, we've been speaking every day about the lessons that we're learning about COVID-19 and how to apply them to leadership development going forward. And with that, please take this opportunity to observe and to learn from these meta leadership modules. We hope they'll be helpful to you. Thank you for your leadership. And one lesson as we're going forward. This is an historic moment for this country and everything that we're doing today will remember as we get beyond today. It's an opportunity for all of us to do our best, to be proud of what we've done individually, to be proud of what we've done as leaders and to be proud of what our organizations have done. So one just lesson for you. Every day, choose something that you can be proud of, whether it's you personally, you as the leader, you and your organization, something that you can look back upon and say, we did well, as well as we could have done, even though the circumstances were very difficult. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your continued pursuit of developing your own leadership. And from all of us at the National Preparedness Leadership Initiative, good luck and stay healthy.